If you take a drive through one Dunwoody neighborhood, it's safe to say one home probably is going to stand mm -hmm. out. That's because there are dinos standing tall in the front yard. There are they are there, but dinosaurs we're talking about, they soon could become a thing of the past. 11 Alive's Molly Oak live in Dunwoody tonight. And Molly, you are surrounded by more than a dozen dinosaurs right now. Starting to feel like I'm in Jurassic Park, except for a lot more smiling dinosaurs, right? Take a look at this. Lisa Torres, the homeowner, says she thinks she has more than 100 of these inflatables. If you just heard that car honking, we have been hearing that all day. It's because it's their way of spreading some positivity, but turns out that way of that positivity violated a city ordinance. Now the community is standing up tall for Lisa, almost as high as this dinosaur, in hopes of keeping these inflatables from going extinct. Ready? There's a fight to stay upright. Today is very symbolic because today was the day that we were actually supposed to put, take them down. Instead, more dinosaurs now don the yard of Lisa Torres' home in Dunwoody. Or should I say, Dino Woody. They're no longer mine. They're Dunwoody's dinosaurs. What started as a fun Halloween decoration to bring some smiles in 2020 turned into three years of dino decor and positive messages. And the response just kept getting bigger and kept getting better. And I just felt like we were doing something right. Like an asteroid, a complaint came in last month threatening the dinosaurs' extinction. And turns out that complaint had some teeth to it. <laughs> Leaving Lisa, her family's dinos, and the community that loves them feeling deflated. But the community wasn't ready. So they, um, they took the reins, they created a movement, they spoke up, they stood up for me, for my family, and for them. And the city heard them. Initially, Lisa was told she had till today to take down the dinos. Now, the city gave her a 30-day extension, so staff can review the sign code and consider changes. So we're a lot stronger when we, when we unite, when we work together, especially for a good cause and for a kind cause that doesn't harm anybody. If anything, it's just trying to bring a little joy, a little free joy. Joy in a jumbo-sized dinosaur. Now, one thing you'll notice in that story is that some of the dinosaurs had a positive message out front. Well, that's not displayed just yet, but Lisa tells me it will soon say you are spooktacular. And the neighbors think so, too, because now other neighbors in the neighborhood have started putting up dinosaurs in their yard as a way to show some inflatable support for the cause. Reporting live in Dino Woody, Molly Oak, where are you, buddy? <laughs> I love the live news. Well, you know, I think it's certainly something that has clearly brought a lot of that community mm -hmm. together, and I'm sure the kids love it, too. And hopefully they can find a compromise where if maybe not take all of them down, maybe yeah. some of them, or just so everybody can, you know, or sort of enjoy a, a them. just a set range, maybe just before the, the Halloween Holidays, season. Yeah. Yeah.